Kyphoplasty. We've been talking about kyphoplasty in terms of what we need to look into it in terms of your practice. Can you explain to us what it is? Personally, I've never heard of it, so okay. I want to be educated right now. Well, that's not uncommon to right? not have heard of it, um, but usually it, it spreads by word of mouth because it uh, helps so many people that they tell their friends uh, who also have compression fractures. It sounds complicated, but yet? Well, it's actually fairly simple. A compression fracture, if you can think of a, a Coca-Cola can kind of crunching down, um, each of the vertebral bodies in your spine is more or less cylindrical and uh, if it crunches down it can be extremely painful. The purpose of the procedure of kyphoplasty is twofold. Number one, to try and restore some of the height of that bone and also two, to stabilize it with uh, medical grade cement so that it is solid once again. Whereas when they have the fracture, I, I think of it as kind of having a, a, a rumbling kind of uh, shaking uh, bone when they try to move and that is super painful and so if we can cement that in place then it can prevent prevent that pain. So a couple questions is this inpatient or outpatient procedure? Uh, most often it is an outpatient procedure oh. the procedure itself takes about 10 to 15 minutes um, and so it's very quick uh, and it is people can go home the same day. Anesthesia, does a patient go under? I'd say over 95% of the time it is uh, local anesthetic, uh, just numbing up the skin where we uh, insert the needle. Uh, and usually we use a sedative. I tell people uh, they're more familiar with maybe getting a colonoscopy mm -hmm. uh, with their GI doctor or primary care. And so it's like a sedative where they don't really remember it, okay. but it's not general anesthesia.